As they say in show business, the show must go on, or as recent events have shown, online. I'm Shirley Blaine, Public Information Officer. Over the past two months, the Abbey Theater has taken theatrical performances from the stage to the digital space. Joining me this week is Joe Bashara, Theater Supervisor at the Abbey Theater, and Nikki Davis, writer and performer. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Shirley. Joe, can you tell our viewers about the virtual theater project and how it's going? Yeah, in response to uh, the inability to gather in large groups to create or attend performing arts events, the Abbey Theater of Dublin created a series of online productions called the Virtual Theater Project. Uh, we made this choice to pivot to producing new works specific, specifically created to be performed virtually as a way for artists of all ages to continue to build their storytelling skills all while practicing social distancing. That is great. So can you tell us a little bit more about your upcoming show, Maria Regina, The Life of Mary Stewart, Queen of Scots? Yes, so um, this is the only instance in the virtual theater project where this was something that we already had planned prior to the pandemic. And once the pandemic hit, I contacted Nikki and I said, Nikki, we already were planning on doing this. I think your piece really breaks the mold. It will work wonderfully in front of a live audience, but I also think it would work really great uh, being streamed as well. And uh, and then Nikki acquiesced, and uh, and we're here today uh, on the cusp of actually finishing the film. I actually have a clip of Nikki's performance to share with our viewers, and I'll play that now. Why would I want her dead? Why would I want my own dear cousin assassinated? You want to know why? Because I was the rightful Queen of England. Everything I did in my lifetime, it wasn't about power, motivated by, by greed or vanity. It was about pleasing our almighty Lord and to sit idle while she, an illegitimate Protestant, sat on the English throne, my throne, it violated God's plan. A moving performance. Nikki, can you tell us a little more about your theatrical background? Sure. Um, I've been performing since, since I was a kid, all through school, and uh, I went to the University of Richmond in Virginia. I majored in theater and, and minored in history. Um, after college, I was hired by Shadowbox Live, and that's what brought me to Columbus, Ohio. I was primarily a dancer there, which, which I really enjoyed. Uh, but after a year, I wanted to see how my acting chops fared uh, with other Columbus-based companies. Some of my favorite roles in Columbus have been uh, Maraid in The Lieutenant of Inishmore uh, and Bottom in A Midsummer Night's Dream, which I, which I got to do with Actors Theater in Schiller Park. Uh, but I came to realize that what I really loved about theater, uh, what was most creatively fulfilling for me was where theater and academia meet. So how the, uh, uh, gender studies and queer studies, psychoanalysis, history, politics can interact with performance um, to elicit empathy, debate, activism. So now my long-term goal is to become a professor of theater. Uh, way down the line, uh, but to that end, I will be attending NYU Tisch School of the Arts in the fall in pursuit of a master's degree in performance studies. Nikki, how did you come to select Mary Queen of Scots to write and perform? And can you share with our viewers more about the research you conducted and your passion to feature historical women in your work? Yes, I've, I've always had a fascination with historical women who were put to death because they had exercised personal agency in a time when women weren't supposed to have such power and that agency was viewed as a threat to society. I've been particularly interested in Mary since I was 13 when I first visited Scotland. And then in college, I got to study abroad uh, in Scotland and then got to return again with a research grant from Richmond uh, back to the UK where I got to conduct research at the National Library of Scotland, National Archives of Scotland, and the British Library, getting to read original documents written by or, or about Mary. And I got to trace her footsteps through where she lived or was imprisoned. And then back at Richmond, I had this plethora of, of historical research, and I basically had to take that history and turn it into an impactful 
piece of art. And solo performance gives the female actor and the female historical figure uh, control of what is said, what is seen, what messages are conveyed. It gives women a platform to tell their stories without distraction or uh, um, interruption. And putting a female body on stage alone forces audiences to, to confront their, their own experiences with sexism. How do they feel and what do they think while looking at and listening to a singular woman on stage for a straight 60 plus minute performance. So uh, my dream for my future is to continue evolving this theory and, and writing more one woman shows about historical women of the past. Well, Nikki, your dedication of using historical research to both write that script and portray Mary Stewart will certainly make it a fascinating one-woman play. The production of Marie Regina, The Life of Mary Stewart, Queen of Scots, will be streamed online from July 31st through August 2nd. Previous virtual theater project shows were free and streamed on the city's Facebook page. However, as this performance is the finale to our virtual series, we are asking viewers to purchase a ticket of $5 per household. Virtual theater goers will receive a special link and password prior to the showtime that can be viewed at any time. Visit DublinOhioUSA.gov forward slash Abbey theater to purchase your ticket today.